Well, we wrote the Daily Grind because we thought there was a need out there for uh, people who are looking to open an independent coffee shop, but didn't want to be a franchise and really didn't know how to do it all themselves. So, a bit like us, when we started there was two options. You could either um, become a franchise or you could do it all yourself. And if you did it all yourself then you'd learn as you went on, which is pretty much what we ended up doing. We've been in the coffee industry for over 10 years and we've learned an awful lot. Good things and bad things, how to do it and how not to do it. Uh, when we first started there was only two routes um, to opening a coffee shop. You either uh, opened your own coffee shop with no help at all or you became a franchisee. Well the first chapter is all about uh, getting your why. What we mean by your why is the reason for starting at the coffee shop. It's really critical that you understand what you want to achieve, why you want to do it and to get to know yourself before you even think about running the coffee shop because it is a easy business to set up but a very hard business to run. The second chapter in our book is all about the clever coffee shop location because once you've sorted out your why and answered all the questions in the first chapter you then have to find the right location and the right location is absolutely key to the success of your business. If you choose the wrong location and end up in a, 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 a quiet alleyway where not many people pass you're never going to achieve the takings that you need to break even on every single day. In the same way as if you choose a very busy high street which is full of uh, corporate businesses, your rent and rates are going to be very, very high. So you'd have to sell an awful lot of coffee to be able to break even again. So location is key to everything when it comes to a, a coffee shop. And to get it right in the beginning will help you so, so much. The first big chapter in the book is all about location. Three reasons why people visit a coffee shop. The first is location, the second is consistency, and the third is service. So if you don't get the location right, then you don't stand any chance at all. For two reasons really. The first is the location will mean that people will be able to find you easily. And people don't travel very far for a coffee shop. It's not a destination. It's not somewhere where people will make a, a like a shopping centre or a garden centre where they will make a, an effort to go there. People are feeling hungry or thirsty or work across the road. They'll come to you because number one, you're close. The other thing about uh, a location, choosing a correct location, or a clever location as we call it, is the fact that you need to be aware of, of the costs, the hidden costs of opening a coffee shop in a location. So, you know, have you got enough power? You know, is there adequate ventilation? Uh, do you need a new floor? Um, do you need to change the drainage? All those things, if you don't consider those to begin with, will surprise you with a lot of extra cost. Um, and then that cost is a built-in fixed cost which you'll have to pay back over time. So it makes the break-even point in your business further down the road. So once you've worked out your, your why, you've got your fabulous location, you then have to recruit a superb team. Now we found over the years that, that your team is key to customer service, that wow experience that your customers need to keep them coming back and making them raving fans. Now, We've discovered that you can teach somebody how to make a fabulous cup of coffee, but you can't teach as easily the skills needed to have a rapport with your, your guests. So therefore, enthusiasm, uh, making eye contact, smiling, making your customers feel welcome, um, making conversations and being able to offer uh, an upsell to your customers and suggestions of what they can, they can buy rather than saying anything else. When you first open your coffee shop, you'll find that you will become a technician in your coffee shop. In other words, that you will be running everything and organising everything. But even if you, if you start doing that, you must always be looking to recruit somebody who will take over that role. Otherwise, you'll find that on your day off or if you take a holiday, you'll find that your coffee shop won't run as well without you. So by having systems and processes in place and training your team, to do the things that you want them to do and the way you want to do them is essential. 
Yeah, we talk about the importance of getting a great team in the book in great detail, actually, because it is such a crucial part of your business. You might think that you can do everything in your business, but let me tell you, you won't be able to because you'll want a day off, you'll want to go on holiday, um, you'll want to do an order, you'll want to talk to another customer. So the important, one of the most important things you can do is spend time recruiting a great team from day one. It'll save you loads of time and it will make your life so much easier. And believe it or not, you're not the only person out there that knows how to do things well. Um, if you recruit a really good manager and hold over a really good manager, get somebody that gets it. Talk to them, make sure they understand your ethos, make sure they're on the same page as you, make sure they understand customer service, make sure they understand the hospitality industry. They don't need to, make, need to know how to make a cup of coffee because you can teach them that. What you can't teach them is that empathy that your manager will need to show to customers because they will yourself and they will set the scene. They will set the standard of service in your business.